In this video, let's talk about whether or not you take the game home with you. Teachers take their students' problems home with us. Social workers do this. Doctors do this, right? Everyone does this when they really care about the outcomes that they get for other people. And for you as an athlete, you care about your own outcomes, right? You care about how you played on the field. And I'll give you a story. I pitched terribly one game in high school in the state tournament. We lost, and pretty much I blew the game for my team. I came in late in the game. And everyone was real excited because I was throwing really hard in the bullpen. I looked really sharp. My first inning was really good in relief. And then my next inning, I walked pretty much everyone. And we started to fall behind and we ended up losing the game. And really, there was a, a negative momentum shift when I came in. I went home and I basically locked myself in my room for like a day and I was inconsolable about it. And I think a lot of you as athletes have probably had a similar experience like that, where I just felt like I was a complete failure as a person, as a human because of how I'd failed in this game. And of course, my teammates didn't view it that way. Everyone was disappointed, just like I was, but you win as a team and you lose as a team. And sometimes one player has a larger or smaller contribution to that. That's just part of sports. And it's normal to take some of that home with you. But what you learn the longer you play, and this is something I learned, especially in pro ball, is that you, you live to fight tomorrow and you can't hang your hat on every single performance because otherwise you start to take all of it home with you and now you're miserable in your personal life. And if your expectations of performance are really high, if you expect to have amazing games every day, well, then you end up making yourself miserable most of the time because you have a standard that you can't possibly live up to. If you feel like that's you, take some time to reflect on where that disappointment comes from. Does that come because you feel like you're less of a good person because you didn't play well? And look, if that's the case, you're your worth as a person has nothing to do with how well you play. Your parents love you. No matter how you play, you're still you. Your friends still value. What you do in the field is totally separate from what you are and who you are as a person. So, no, so remember that, number one. And number two, great careers in any sport are made over the long term. But what you did today, even if it was the worst game you could have possibly conceived of, it's not going to define your career. It just isn't. So you're going to have the next game. You're going to have the next track meet. You're going to have the next tournament, whatever it is to redeem yourself. If you feel like you take the game home with you, it's okay to acknowledge that disappointment. That means you care and that's important. You should care, especially if you're really competitive like I was, like lots of athletes are. You have to be competitive and you have to care to really be great. You can't really control outcomes in the game. So if you didn't get the results that you like and you go home and you feel really rough about it, just remember that the only things that you can control until next time out or your preparation, your work ethic, right? Your practice, your focus, all the things that lead you up to the next game to where you can hopefully do better and play better. So if you do feel rough leaving a game where you didn't play well, try to, again, sit with those feelings. You can acknowledge it, but then say, okay, what am I gonna do so this is a better timeout next time? How am I gonna perform better next time? These are the things that I can control, my preparation. So I'm gonna hit that really hard. And I'm gonna let this bad game go and I'm gonna do my best to be prepared and ready to hit the field and play my best next time. So if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel below. You'll find my mental skills book, This Slump Shall Pass. It's a great illustrated visual book for athletes of all ages and all sports. Definitely check that out if you wanna make more of your mental game, all right? Thanks again for watching and I'll see you here in the next video.